Are you addicted to Ben Shapiro's sister's big milkos? Well, boy, boy, do I have the, the trash for you, because we're going to watch the Milkos talk. Her ramble was just a gorilla. It just looks like Ben Shapiro with titties. It's horrifying, and I don't like it. And I'm not a fan of this. You caused this. You caused this. You have enabled me to get this far. You have enabled me to have a channel successful for long enough... To where we came around to the other side and Ben Shapiro's sister has now entered the game. I blame you 100%. This is not my fault. Everything henceforth is on you. Let's listen to this fucking horror show. Talk about why she's super excited about marriage and it's the best choice ever. And why she loves her conservative life. Could it be that she was born into money? No, that couldn't possibly be the fucking it. Jesus Christ. Hello beautiful ladies and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about why I love my life as a conservative woman. Did you guys hear that guy? Did you guys hear that guy in my neighborhood just drive out? He heard that I turned this on and he ran out of his house, got on his motorcycle and left the neighborhood so he wouldn't have to catch even a residual amount of this content. Not even just a little bit. I also hate how she talks. Okay, why do I hate everything? Okay, here we fucking go. Classically Abby. Now this is going to be the first episode in a series all about why I love being conservative and I love being a conservative woman specifically. So today I really want to talk about marriage. Is this a real person's personality? This is why, this sounds like, you, you ever, you know those, um, you, get, uh, you know, I know, I know it's a little bit of a grift, but have any of you ever been to college and taken like speech 101 classes? It sounds a lot like this. It sounds like, hello, my name is Jake and I'm here today to talk to you about Zionism. Oh, I tickle myself. And why I love being married. I've definitely done a bunch of videos about why marriage is so important to me, why it's something I'm so glad I did, and why it's the best choice I ever made. But I really want to talk about that from a conservative perspective. Now, if you are someone who is not conservative, but you love marriage... Where's her yarmulke? Don't the, do the ladies get to wear yarmulkes too? Do women... Where Yarmulkas. That's how you spell it, right? Yarmulka? I was close. Yarmulkas. Kippet have been inscribed. Wait, what? H hold on. Yeah, see? Where's her fucking... Where is it? Maybe it's... Is it on the back? Because cause Ben's always wearing it, so I figured she had one too. Because this is just... This is just... Again... I'm pretty sure this is just Ben in the face swap app just in motion, right? Jesus. Hooray! You're on the same side as me. That's great. <laughs> and marriage is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Now, the reason that I talk about it from a conservative perspective is that conservatives really value marriage. We think it's something that actually is important, and it's important to the building of a society. You think marriage is fundamental to the building of a society? Does she know that that marriage started as as a, as a means to society because like it was it people with uteruses, women as as she would call them, um um make babies and therefore they need a lot of they need a lot of like say say you're doing a, a say say you hunt and gather okay for 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 everything and and you have like a, li a little bit of agriculture during the agricultural revolution okay and say just for instance that you're uh, you, you you have a bowling ball split your vagina and your perineum 
So that you basically the bottom of your your vagina is the top of your butthole after the fact. Uh, 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 and then you got to deal with healing that and taking care of a human being that is soft, scald, and tiny, ripe, ripe for the eating for any nearby predator, and covered in smelly goop that would, frankly, draw those predators. And so now you got this thing, which is, hold on, we need a prop. Hold on, I got, I got a prop. I got a prop for you. It's, it's, we got, we got, here. Okay, yeah, we got, we got, we got them right here. Okay, okay. Look, I'm a professional, okay? So we got, we got this, okay? I, I am a fresh, I'm a mother and this is my newborn. This is my newborn. Oh no, there's wolves about in the forest. If only there was someone to protect me. A big, strong man. And then, hold on, I need, hold on. No, we gotta, we gotta keep going. Hold on, I need more props. I need more props. Hold on. We'll get it. We'll get it. We're almost there. We need a daddy. And everybody knows... Everybody knows who daddy is. Okay? We need a daddy. Big, strong daddy. We'll find it. Are you daddy? Yeah, you're daddy. There we go. We'll save you in downloads as daddy. Okay? Hold on. We got it all going on, okay? Daddy, D A D D Y, or D A D Y, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So there's Daddy. So hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Boom. Okay, ready? Ready? I'm a newborn mother. Or, well, wait. I'm a new mother, and this is my newborn child. He smells so good. Mmm, raw placenta all over him. This sure would attract some wolves. But, oh, what is this? I have a daddy to protect me. Thank you, daddy. And now, due to the fact that I need medical protection, you can own me. And others like me. And then eventually... Because I won't have any rights to property due to this simple biological fact, uh, you can trade me wealth in the form of a gold ring so that if you die, I'll have something to sell to feed our baby. Because I, you know, it wouldn't make sense for me to just have property rights after that. Nope, I basically have to barter my way into a woman's home. But that's okay, because I have my daddy. And hopefully... This baby boy turns into a daddy, but we won't know until his gametes ripen. And that's how marriage happened, chat. That is the history of marriage. You're very welcome. You are very welcome. I'm a genius. Okay, moving on. So when you look at the statistics, for example, there's a very famous statistic by Haskins and Sawhill in their book, Creating an Opportunity Society, where they say that if you do three things, if you fulfill three norms, which is finish high school, get married before you have children and work a full-time job, then 73.8% of people who do that are in the middle class. And so being married is one of those three norms that make... The fourth, the fourth one... So, so graduate high school, have kids, or be married before you have kids? Children and work a full-time job. And work a full-time job. It's interesting. It's interesting you say that last one. A full-time job, you say? Do you mean to say, if I have a job willing to let me work full-time, I might be in the middle class? Oh, wow. Do you think the first two have anything to do with the third one? You know what I bet? You know what I bet? I bet an unmarried person who graduates high school who has the third thing is in the middle class. And frankly, maybe even the upper middle. <laughs> and I bet if you say, if you take those three things and add be white to it, even better. Even better. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, the middle class is, that's the tippy top, okay? 
That's where you that's where you belong. Middle class. Then 73.8% of people who do that are in the middle class. And so being married is one of those three norms that makes it so much better for our society to get married. To get married before Oh wow, really? It doesn't apply cleanly to people who aren't white? Shocking. I'm shocking. I'm shocking? I am shocking. I'm also shocked. For having children. And so marriage is not just something that I like as an individual. It's also something that conservatives and conservative women value as a whole. So being a conservative woman really is about emphasizing how important marriage is. Not only- Being a conservative woman is about emphasizing how important marriage is. <sighs> Luckily. Luckily, I don't have to emphasize that because daddy is very supportive of me. Only to each of us as individuals and to our lives and how enriching it is, but also to society and American society as a whole. But again, if you're on the other side of the aisle and you love marriage too, that's great. And it's not to say that you can't love marriage if you're not conservative. It's just that conservative women look at marriage a little bit differently and a <laughs> You can if you're on the other side of the aisle like marriage, but I like it more. <laughs> Bitch. Gotta love she, a member of upper middle class from birth, is telling others that she should only aspire to be middle. Oh, she's never been middle class. She's only ever been upper. The reason, the reason Ben Shapiro is where he's at is because they have connections. A little bit more of a necessity than just, oh, this is a really nice thing that people do and should do and love to do. So I'm excited to share with you guys why I love being married from a conservative perspective. So let's get into it. Wait, didn't we already get into it? That was your lead in? I thought you already got into it. Okay. One of the things that I- Wait, what was that shit? What was that? With you guys, why I love being married so from a get conservative into it. perspective. So let's get into it. One of the As if she needed more white in this video. <laughs> get it? Because one of the things that I absolutely love about being married is that I'm married to a man who believes in marriage as much as I do. I'm married to a man who believes in marriage as much as I do. All right. Let's see Ma Abby Shapiro. Abby Shapiro husband. Is he hot chat? Do you think he's a hottie? Do you think he's a hottie? Let's see. Let's see. No, not Ben Shapiro. This is her husband? This guy right here? Really? Mm, definitely that guy. This guy right here? There he is. Huh. Okay, if I'm totally honest... Are we? Ramble was just a gorilla. Melly O'Belly. Is anybody? Hold on. Is anybody? Okay. 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 I'm having. Uh. Okay. I'm having. God. They have the same nose. I don't know anything about nose genes. I guess I just castle wench. I don't mean to say he looks bad. I don't mean to say any of them look bad. My gaydar pinged immediately. Why do I hang out with? I have a lot of gay friends and I thought, Oh, look at that. No, nope, that's actually Abby Shapiro's husband. That is. But I, I immediately just thought, like, oh, that he, I guess he kind of looks like one of my gay friends. And I can't place which one. No, they look fine. I'm not mad at them for being happy. and in, Hey, if they love each other, fucking go for it. Your brother-in-law is Satan. And she's not better. She is not a better person. She's also a bad guy. She is a bad, bad. But I... It's okay. I just... Alright. Wait, why is she Abby Shapiro if she's married? Well, because she wouldn't be able to get any of her... Viewers. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Marriage, a.k.a. how he became a beard for my husband. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, if he is gay, I hope he comes out and has all the happy gay sex. Whew. Okay, let's continue. It's hard. She is hard to listen to. I'm not going to lie to you. When you're conservative, it's important to marry someone who shares your values. And my husband and I were always on the same page about what marriage meant. But that meant that marriage for us was a huge decision that we didn't take lightly. And it was a decision that even now the two of us are constantly checking in with each other and knowing. She's cute. Hey, if you want, if you like her, go ahead. All I see is Ben Shapiro. Although some of you say that Ben Shapiro is attractive. So that's fine too. I just can't. I just can't that this is going to be something that's going to go the distance. We don't view marriage as something that we just did because we fell in love. We view it as this is the building block for us to have a family, be part of a community, and this okay. is long term. So you can't be part of a community unless you are married. That's true. So when I look at my husband and we talk about marriage, it's very comforting to me to know that he feels as strongly about our marriage as I do. He makes my gina dry. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, my peepee -pee is not budged an inch, okay? My peepee -pee is not budged. And about how important it is for us to work on it and make sure it's healthy and our relationship stays together and we stay on the same page as regards our relationship. So we really do take care of our marriage, make sure to talk about it, communicate, obviously, as everyone says, communication is the key to marriage and it's so true. And we are always checking in with each other because I don't have to fear that my husband views marriage as something that's temporary. He and I both view it from a conservative perspective that this is something that's important for us, important for our society, <laughs> important for our country. It's important for your country, for the two of you to stay off the market, and I agree. I agree. Abby Shapiro should be locked away in a marriage tower away from the rest of society. Totally agree. I'm, a, I'm on board. I'm on board. And it's so important for me to have married a man who does view marriage that way, who does see marriage as something that is a building block for our lives and for our futures. So that's something that makes me so happy as a conservative woman and as a married woman, as a wife. <laughs> the next reason that I love my life, being a conservative wife. She says conservative so much is that I view my marriage and my future family and my children as the most important thing in my life. So I have other passions. I have a job. My husband has a job. But we know what we're doing it all for, and that's going to be for our family and for the community. We that's like so many people. It's weird how she thinks that this is just like a conservative thing. Like... Even if you don't want kids, like, there's a reason I dress up in a corn suit, okay? Do you think I'd do this if you guys didn't like this shit? If you guys were like, if you came into the stream every day and were like, Jesus Christ, can you stop with the corn thing, please? It's getting unhealthy. I would say, no! I love it! It's for me! But I mean, like, honestly, I do this job not because I love it, and I do love it, but because it also helps me pay the bills. If I couldn't provide for my family by doing this because I have to participate in capitalism, I would spend my time doing other shit that does do that because I would be forced to, okay? But luckily, I get to do a thing I really enjoy doing, LARPing as a corn person, and also it pays the bills. Please subscribe, I'm dying inside we build and that we're a part of. And the reason that is a conservative value is because I don't have to fight with that part of myself that's thinking that I'm oppressed by the patriarchy. That feminist idea that because I'm putting family first, it means I can't put career first and I've just been oppressed by that. I don't feel that at all. I feel that as a conservative woman, I've made the right choices. I've put the most important things at the forefront of my life. And okay, but... Okay. The most important thing in your life is not dependent upon your political compass test. It's just dependent on what you like. If you like kids, if you want to have kids, and there's a lot of leftists that want to have kids, then they're going to be the most important thing in your life. 
There's a lot of leftists that didn't want kids, had kids, found out they liked them, and it's the most important thing in their life. There's a lot of conservative people, my dad's a great example, who had kids, thought he wanted kids, those kids ended up not being exactly like that, that he wanted, and ended up not really liking that shit. A lot of conservatives are like that. Did you know conservatives make really bad parents? <laughs> Did you know that conservatives can't... You can't conserve a growing mind. Did you know that? Did you know a growing mind will experience things that you don't want them to experience and do things you don't want them to do and believe things you don't want them to believe? Conservatives are terrible parents. Fact. That's a fact. They can be good, but they're overall terrible. Doing pretty good, Dregory. I'm a corn man. And that's going to be the love that I have and the values that I'm going to And now he's dead. Let that be a lesson to you, Abby Shapiro. <laughs> Still in my children and in my family. And being married has really clarified for me what my life goals are. And it's not just for me ambition in my work, but it is that wholesome view of my life, that holistic view of my life, of a husband and a family and career which will support that. So I love that as a married woman, I can really take advantage of these parts of my life that as a single woman, it's something you look forward to. It's something that you're kind of growing towards but not necessarily there yet. And when you're married, you can really recognize what matters. You can do that whether you're married or not. I don't know why she thinks this is I feel like religion is missing. They're, they're Jewish. What is important, what your purpose is, and she's, what your mission she's, is. She's strongly Jewish. And I Jewish. can't wait for she's the future as my husband and I continue to grow towards that with our children and our family. Now, another thing that's great now that I'm a wife is that I don't have to date anymore. <laughs> I don't have to date anymore. By the way, dating can suck. So, I mean, like, I think we all agree there. Dating is so hard. Finding the person who's going to not only mesh with you personality-wise, but mm -hmm. also compatibility-wise, sure. and is going to fit with those values that you want for your future, and okay. fit into the idea of what you want from your life, is so tricky. And it is so hard to find that person who fits all those things for you. And when I met Jacob, it was like- Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. I've been outed. I'm Abby Shapiro's wife, husband. I'm her husband. And we have a daddy, and his name is Ryan. I've been outed. Like, thank God. <laughs> I felt like I could just breathe a sigh of relief because Jacob and I knew really early on that we wanted to get married and it wasn't even a question that either one of us was. We knew you had a secret wife and kids. Yep, you got me. It's me and Abby Shapiro. She is my secret wife. And do you want to see a picture of our son? And this is our son. Benji. This is our son. Yep. Me and Abby. You know it. We've been together for a long, long time. Feels like forever. Afraid of. It was something that we both were really excited about. And when you're dating, there's this constant push and pull of, should we compromise here? Are we going to fit together? And it's just not necessarily something that you can really have a good time with. No so when, okay, okay. So she just said, when you're dating, there's like compromises and you don't know if you're good. But then when you got married, all those go away. All the incompatibilities go away when you get married. I think this will end, sadly, in divorce. Sadly. I hate that conservatives are the only ones that get to talk about life outside of work as fulfilling empowerment because they can uphold the status quo of a nuclear family, whereas if you're a progressive and say the empowerment and fulfillment can be found outside of purely working, you're called out as lazy and selfish. Well, not here. Sarah must be devastated. If, look, we can, there's, we can make it, we can figure it out. Here's a picture of our son. 
Pulls up a picture of the sun. God damn you. Now, of course, there are some fun parts of dating, so that's not to say that every part of dating is awful, but dating as a whole... She just wanted to say, the fuck was good. ...is a little bit of an anxiety trip. <laughs> Whereas when you're married, that anxiety really does go away in a lot of ways. Of course, there's a lot of new anxieties, but there are much less than that big, <sighs> huge question of, who am I going to spend my life with? And when you're married, you don't have to worry about that in the same way. You're with this person. Hopefully that you've chosen that does share your values and does view marriage as something that's as important as you do. And the two of you can really make a life together. And that is just the best of all worlds. It's just the greatest thing ever. I'm, I'm very happy for her. She seems, you know what? She seems very genuinely like a production team told her to be happy about this. And I feel I feel very happy for her. You know what I mean? I mean, every single bit of her personality seems curated from top to bottom. And frankly, if her acting happy makes her feel happy, then damn it, who am I to judge? You know what I mean? I appreciate the drizzle bits, Major Dub. Being married to my husband is so nice because I don't have to hide my conservatism with my husband. Would, did you have to when he was your boyfriend? Or even feel like I shouldn't say something. Of course you guys know that I lived my life in fear of talking about being conservative because I was in the arts and I was scared about it. And if I had married somebody who didn't share my values, I would have felt nervous to bring things up. Maybe it would have started a fight, something like that. Have you considered that you're nervous about being a conservative? Because you're a bigot? You know what I'm not nervous about? Telling people I'm not a conservative. If you ask me my political opinions, I will give them to you. Thanks, Flair, for following. Like a Flair who just followed, said, Hey, Jake, what are your political opinions? And we're in a public space. I'd be like, nah, you probably consider me pretty left-leaning. Every single person is valid. However you fuck is the way you fuck. As long as it's with consent, it's cool. And I think that every American citizen should have a base of living that includes but is not limited to healthcare, education, shelter, food, water, and internet access. That is the bottom fucking line. And that makes me some sort of fucking extremist, I guess. There's nothing to be embarrassed about there, you see what I'm saying? I just want what's best for everybody and I want, every I want the government to stay out of your personal life. That's pretty much it. Whereas if you're a conservative, you're like, yeah, if you stick your pee-pee in someone else's bing-bong and they have a pee-pee, not for it. That sounds like government oversight to me. I'm just tossing that out there. Maybe I'm a little bit of a libertarian in the regards. And maybe you're a little bit of an authoritarian. You ever think about that, you fucking Nazis? Wait, God, I just went hard. I just went too hard. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Daddy will calm me down. It worked. I never have to worry about that with my husband. What's my opinion on universal basic G fuel? For it. Because we do share values. And that's something that I think is a conservative idea, which is that you should marry somebody who does share your views because it's just gonna make your life so much easier. And when you're trying to raise kids, you're gonna be doing it with the same idea in mind. And I just love that my husband and I really don't have to worry about that. Mr. Gamer Boy, thanks for following. It's something that the two of us feel really comfortable talking about and really enjoy talking about. The two of us talk about conservatism a lot. It's just part of our daily conversation. <laughs> Here's my impression. <laughs> Universal basic corn ludes. Hey, for my tier three subbers. You got lewd. You got lewd copies. Don't forget. <laughs> For my... Here's my impression of Abby... Of Abby... Talking to her conservative husband. In the morning. He's no longer a baby. He's a man. Hey, honey. Good morning. Good morning. I'm a man. Not a baby. Don't you just love separating Mexican families at the border? Boy, do I! I really hate happy Mexican families. Oh, me too. 
My name's Abby Shapiro. I know! I know your name! It upsets me a little bit you didn't take my name in the marriage! I'm a conservative woman. Yeah! And I hate Mexican families being happy and whole. I am for nuclear families, unless they're Mexicans. In which case I am against nuclear families and for them being in cages. You know, when you frame it like that, I'm actually... Are we bad guys? And that's, that's, that's the morning. That is the morning with Abby Shapiro and her husband, Jacob Shapiro. And it's just a great thing for me and for him that we don't feel that nervousness and anxiety about, can I bring this up? Is this going to start a fight or whatever? So it's just something that I love about being married as a conservative woman. As I've said before in my videos about marriage, we're invested in each other's growth. And you don't get that from anyone else. You don't get that from friends or parents in the same way that you do with a spouse. Nope, nope. You never, hey, until you put that ring on my finger, okay? I know you're not invested in my growth, all right? That's how it works. This is not actually a wedding ring. This is a D&D &D prop. It doesn't really fit on a, it's a thumb ring. I'm cool thumb ring dad now, okay? All right with the person who is not only viewing you as their partner, but also as kind of the other half of themselves. And they really want you to be the best version of you because that's also the best version of them. And to know that there's somebody else who cares this much about who you are, what you are, in the best way possible, is so comforting. And it also makes you realize that this person is not only helping you be a better wife, but they're also helping you be a better mother. Because by- You're not a mother. You can't be a better mother if you're not one. That's like saying, it's like saying being friends with someone who is athletic makes me a better NBA player. I'm not in the NBA. I'm just not in it. You're not a mom. You want to be someday, which is great. I would love to cash an NBA paycheck. Neither of us are those things. You can't be a better one if you're not it already, okay? All right. By you improving, it's not just you improving for yourself and for your husband, but also for your future children. And having a husband who does help me with that and I can help him with that makes my life so much richer. And I just love that about being married. The thing about being married is that marriage is the basic building block of a community. It's I'm pretty sure building blocks are the basic building blocks of a community. Like, like the literal structures upon which the community is built begins the community, right? That's when, like, you have communities that happen. Otherwise, you're just a bunch of people standing around in a field. And that's not a community at all. <laughs> it's the first part. It's a brick in the building that is Spencer Pod, thanks for following, buddy. And I say this because when you get married, you're ready to put down roots. You're ready to settle down, have a family, okay. and really start a life. And I've been part of a community where it was all singles. I was in a community in New York that was really all single people. And it was a community in the sense that you had friends and people all went to the same synagogues but it wasn't a community in the sense that everyone was transitory. Everyone knew that this wasn't permanent, that they were going to be moving out as soon as they met the person that they wanted to be with and that they would start a family somewhere else. And so when you have that feeling of, oh, this isn't stability, people are leaving, it's not a community in the same way. You know, people can move once they're married, right? Like, like getting married doesn't contractually obligate you to the, to the place you live. Like, there's not like HOAs for married people specifically. <laughs> Very strange. But a real community is with families, is with children growing up, knowing you each other, have becoming friends, and spending time in school. Is it wrong that you think she's hot? No, you're valid. Yes, you're wrong. You are validated, but you are also a stupid butt face. I can't not see Ben Shapiro. 
school together. I just see Ben. Awful. As their parents all become friends with each other too. That's the building blocks of a community. And so that's why marriage is so important. It's so lovely. And it really is so fulfilling. I mean, being married is what makes you feel like you have a goal in life, a mission, and it really makes you less of a selfish person. Now, people will tell you that. <laughs> Let's say, hypothetically, she's hot. <laughs> Is there a, is there a, <laughs> Ben Shapiro Mad Libs? Is there one of those? Ben Shapiro Mad Libs? No? No. What's the Ben Shapiro copy pasta? Let's say you've been a bad girl. Let's say, hypothetically, you've been a naughty girl even. Okay, and if you were a naughty girl, you would also be my dirty little slut, right? Then, hypothetically speaking, you would be my little cum slut. Now, let's say you're also daddy's little girl. Now that we've established you're both a bad girl and daddy's girl, then I believe you'd agree with me when I say that you deserve a spanking. Am I not correct? A bad girl deserves a spanking, and as I am daddy, you are my girl, so I am the one who must provide punishment. <laughs> you did this. It's your fault. It's your fucking fault. That being in a long-term relationship is the same as being married, and there are a lot of reasons that's not the case. There's the practical reason of marriage is a contract. And I know that takes some of the romance out of it, but the fact is, it's true. When two people build a building together, a contractor and a developer, they don't do it. A brother and a sister, you know? Without a contract. Because if the contractor decides he wants to walk off and not finish the job, the developer is left with a half-finished building that he still has to pay for. You would never do that. That's not something you would ever do. <laughs> what? <laughs> the President of the United States has literally done this. <laughs> <laughs> but with relationships, people do that all the time. They'll have children out of wedlock, oh. and one person can just leave, and you have... Let's say, for the sake of argument, you were Aquaman, and if you were Aquaman, you would be like a boat. Now, if you're a boat, you'd have a motor. Now, let's say you motorboat your sister, Abby. Have that half-finished... <laughs> family structure that you don't have that support system there. Now, of course, there are divorces where there are children. There we go. But in that case, there was still a contract. So the husband has to pay alimony or there has to be a support system. Why does the husband have to pay alimony? Where are men's rights? We need more rights. Give me my man rights. I'm a MGTOW now. That's how it worked. Abby Shapiro red-pilled me. Black-pilled me? What's the MGTOW one? What's the MGTOW pill? We can't say red-pill anymore, Abby Shapiro, because you just found out for the first time in your life that The Matrix is actually a trans story, which all of us knew, but you didn't because you haven't been listening to us. What's the, uh, what's the dumb-pilled? Dump-pilled. White-pill? Black-pill? Is it... What's a black-pill? Hold on. Now I have to look it up. What's black-pilled, chat? Is that it? Is that the one? Term given in a negative connotation officers with incel. There we go. No, that was the one I was thinking. I'm an incel now, chat. Totally involuntary, okay? Don't let the corn suit fool you. I am a hot commodity. That's just the less romantic version of why a marriage contract is so important. But the deeper reason that marriage is so important is that it prevents you from being selfish in saying, I don't want to make this really intense commitment where I can't walk away at any time if I see something better. Because you don't get to do that when you're married. You have to. I mean, you do. You do get to do that. Chat, if your spouse is dog shit, go, go. Be free. You have to sink all your love and your life into another person and into your future children. And it's not something that you can just walk away from with no strings attached. Your mission becomes you your family. You could also just have an open relationship. 
I don't know. Family, and it's not or just cheat. about yeah. you anymore. You are demonstrating to yourself and to the world that it's about the two of you as a team and you can't walk away. And from a more selfish perspective, the fact is when you're married, you don't have to worry that your partner can just walk away either. You have a spouse who has committed himself to you too. So there isn't this fear that he can just leave. My anxiety... He literally could just leave at any point. He could literally do that. It really went away when I got married because it was this feeling of, oh, my husband has chosen me and he's not going to walk away. And the marriage contract is just... A symbol of that too. External obligations are not just about taking away your freedom. They're also about giving you meaning. And when you're only living for yourself and for your wants and desires, that in and of itself is a cage. You're just following your animal instincts instead of just living for a higher purpose. I have never experienced a better anti-marriage advertisement in this video. Holy fuck. And so when you get married, even though there's this sort of feeling that the freedom is gone, it's not. Because you're free to explore the higher levels of you, of yourself, of your relationship, and you're forced to examine those external obligations and really put your heart and soul into another person, which only makes you better. As you can see, I'm a big fan of marriage, I'm a big proponent of it, and I am so happy I'm a wife. But I'm really excited to talk about all of the different aspects of what make me so happy to be a conservative woman, and this was just the first episode in that series. So this is the first one? Okay. All right. This is almost, this is almost over. Uh, it's just gonna do an ad for herself? So, or? Let me know in the comments below what makes you happy to be a conservative woman, why you love your life as a conservative woman. I'd love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Let's see what the comments say. Please stop buying ads. Why do I have this ad? Please stop doing this ad. She sounds like a clickbait. This video is ignorant. Being conservative has zero to do with it. <laughs> this woman's whole personality and brand is telling everyone she's married and conservative. I, I have marked not interested on so many of this woman's videos, but they still come up as ads. <laughs> You're deaf a pick me, choose me kind of girl, aren't you? So you got married to be normal and part of a community and not because y'all fell in love? I'll pass, sis. <laughs> It's like being conservative is the only personality trait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Why is this girl paying for her vids be advertised when she's just getting constant hate, girl? I, the checks. <laughs> she really just acting like liberals don't love their spouse and kids. She's out here trying to convince herself that marriage was her best choice she made. She's that friend that you never see again once she gets a boyfriend. <laughs> Yes, marriage is not a necessity, but that doesn't mean liberals don't value marriage, lol. You act like we are loveless. So apparently this chick got married for the country. Also, feminism is about doing whatever you want as a woman want to do. So yeah, being a stay-at-home mom is pretty damn feminist. Someone, hello, this woman. I'm a conservative! <laughs> she acts like being married is a hobby. I'm getting homophobic vibes. Marriage isn't for everyone. That's the beauty of being human. You have so many options, like anal and BDSM. <laughs> it's like watching a car crash. It's horrible, but I can't look away. Abby is being married. Abby, being married isn't a personality trait. I have th th look. This is her curated fucking comments. I'm not. I've not done anything. Is she? Is she gonna have a positive comment yet? Why I love my conservative life. Yeah, most traditionally married conservative women don't feel the need to brag about it. She seems like the type of girl in high school that would shame girls for having sex, but then got married at 18 so she could have sex. <laughs> this woman is living on my recommended page rent-free, and I'm getting sick of her. Not getting married, not giving birth, adopting, so please stop with these ads. Sounds like she's trying to convince herself more than us. Me, a gay black man. YouTube, this is for you. <laughs> If this girl don't stop paying to be ads, I'ma just delete YouTube, like... Oh my god, why does this woman keep showing up my ads? I'm not interested. Imagine thinking being conservative is a personality. Seems like she's trying to convince herself that she likes her life. She's probably one of the most ignorant people on this platform. I'm literally gonna read this until we find a comment that is positive. She would literally be so hot if she wasn't so conservative. <laughs> 
Being a conservative woman means valuing marriage a lot. Girl, what? When you're boring and your only personality trait is being a conservative. Marriage isn't a conservative trait. Also, I feel like if you need to spend hundreds of dollars on ads for many videos stating how happy you are with your marriage, you really aren't happy. Oh, it was thousands of dollars. As a conservative myself, this is embarrassing. Someone breathes her. I'm a conservative. Being a conservative isn't a personality trait. I'm a conservative, and I'm high-key embarrassed that you're, spoke, that you're the spoke person for conservative women. Conservatives really value marriage, yeah, unless the people getting married are gay, or an interracial couple, or disabled, or the couple doesn't want to have kids, or boom, got them. The mind control inside of this bus is astronomical. Does that count as positive? Does that count as a positive take yet? Everyone in the comments, stop buying ads. Me. Her books are unorganized. <laughs> Imagine being this woman's kid. <laughs> I literally can't find one. Oh my god. Girl Trump don't even like you. <laughs> Dude, when are they going to have... when? <laughs> Literally no one agrees with you. Oh my god. No. <laughs> what? Oh no. My sleep paralysis demon be like Abby Shapiro. <laughs> the moral of the story is... Nobody likes Abby Shapiro. Nobody.